the point where we are going to begin our collage project. You are going to need to grab or create a new file. So create new. It's going to be called collage because we are creating this file. And it's going to be 8.5 by 11 inches and create. And it's kind of a daunting feeling when you have a white artboard staring at you, but you should have inside your image folder a collection of things that you can start experimenting with. The more you experiment, the more you make mistakes and try again and um, edit, the more successful you're going to be. The first thing I would do is I would start with your subject matter, your image that you originally had at the beginning, your person, your animal, and you always want to go ahead and open up the images separately. So I'm going to go into my image folder and this was my image. Now I'm going to start by experimenting um, and just kind of seeing where my selection goes. Okay. I didn't end up using the um, select subject because I ended up using some of the background and I used my pen tool um, selection to do that. But let's say you want to start off with grabbing your image first. You would select your subject and see where that takes you. And take it into selected mask and do all the things that you know how to do. That selection looks really good, so I'm going to go ahead and actually go down to the bottom. Always do the new layer with layer mask because it gives you the option to edit this later. And I'm going to start thinking about what I want. So I know I'm going to want a white background. So I'm just going to kind of go in here with a solid color, choose a white background. The other thing I want to encourage you to do is have that website open um, of the artist that we're studying. Um, I did this a lot. I looked at her artwork and kind of scrolled through some of her pieces. I didn't copy her work, but I used it for inspiration. And you can see where I kind of got some ideas from her that I used in my project. And then you can just continue to build your images. So you would take your image and start moving it over. You can do a floating image so you don't have to have um, a border. You don't have to have this framed out. She could be floating in space. So it's very abstract. Return. I think the key thing to remember is that you always want to do file open and have the images open separately. If your tabs start to build across, you'll have the option to scroll down and open up your tabs over here because sometimes these tabs can grow and you can't um, end up picking these up and moving them over. And then I noticed as I brought her over that I have this line that happened and that's why that layer mask is so helpful. So I'm going to go ahead with my black turned on and my opacity set really low. So let me go ahead and raise that up to 100. Okay. And then maybe she's a little bit too straight on the bottom for me. I can lower my opacity and just do like a soft edge. So there's no right and wrong. It's really just knowing how to bring in your files, making sure you're using your layer mask correctly, um, experiment with those shapes and that clip masking, um, and just make mistakes and try again. I went through at least three to four different designs before I ended up coming up with what I like. So I'm just trying to find that place where I can Get rid of the edge, but not make it look so natural. I kind of want to look at, make it look cloud-like, like she's coming out of the background. Okay. And then, you know, go in with your shape um, tool and pick a color, pick an outline. Um, I'm going to change this outline to red. I like the dots, so let's try to experiment with that. 
And then also, you know, keep in mind your layer order. Obviously, we don't want her to be in back of the circle, so just rearrange your layers. And I think I'm going to change the color of that to red and do black dots. And I'm going to experiment with the size of my dots. Maybe I want to make them a little bit bigger. Right. And then I would just kind of come in here with some more shapes. You can also come in here with your paintbrush. Um, when you do paint, you want to keep in mind that um, you need to have a painting layer. Every time you paint something new, you want to make it a new layer because the painting will go onto the same layer. And it's nice to have them separated so that you can keep um, moving them around freely. So I'm going to try using this splatter brush, increase my size here. I'm going to create a new layer. Just kind of have fun with it. It's going to go behind her. Okay. So layer orders, um, clip masking. Let me show you just a quick tip for that as well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use this image, but it's here, so I'm going to take advantage of using it. Um, let's say I wanted to carry this over, and this is where I wanted to show you the the tabs can come down so you can go back and forth. Um, but I'm going to pick this up and move this over. And then I want to clip it into the circle. So I'm going to right click, hold the control key down, come down and do a clip masking. Actually, now that I've done that, I kind of like that image. And I have the freedom to kind of move it around inside that clip mask so I can find the right, oops, find the right one and maybe put the paint below the circle. You know, I like it above. So as you can see, I'm experimenting, I'm making mistakes, I'm changing things, I'm actually starting to like certain things that I didn't know that I liked. So that's all, all it takes. And also, keep it simple. Keep it real simple. Don't overthink it. Create some emphasis. Create areas of fo focus so that your eye goes to certain areas and it kind of works around the artwork. You don't want it to be too heavy in content on one side and too light on the other. Your eye should be working around the image. You're going to save it as a PSD when you're done and you're going to export it as a JPEG. Don't rush this. Take your time and have fun with it.